Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, the Bible. We ask that your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, point us, teach us with all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continuing with Exodus 15, Moses is singing a song. Again, I don't know the song lyrics, or I know the song lyrics, but I don't know the song uh, notes or chords, so I'm not going to sing it. Uh, verse 6, Thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. Now, remember, Jesus is the one who led them through the Red Sea. When it's speaking of the right hand, O Lord, it's speaking of Jesus, that Jesus was the one who led them through the Red Sea. Luke 22, uh, 69, when they were mocking Jesus, it says, Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God. That That is Jesus' place right now. He sits at the right hand of God the Father, and he pleads your case if you're in Christ. And isn't it great to know that we have a mediator there, that Jesus is the only one that can mediate for us? Uh, he's the one, if you've trusted in him, you have forgiveness of sin. He sits there at the right hand of God in power. Let's continue with the song. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou have hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together, and the flood stood upright as in heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Now, I don't know about you, but this is pretty heavy. The Lord judged the Egyptians. And many people say, well, the Lord was a God of wrath in the Old Testament. Now he's a God of grace. Did you know, yes, he is a God of wrath and he's a God of grace. And he was both those things in the Old Testament. And you can see his grace and mercy many, many times over in the Old Testament. Look, he had mercy on the people of Israel because they turned to him. He did not have mercy on the Egyptians because they wouldn't turn, they wouldn't trust in him. It's the same in the New Testament. Uh, in the New Testament, he will have mercy on any that will turn to him, any that will repent and trust in him. But if they don't, he will take out his wrath on them. In John 3, 36, it says, he who hath the Son hath life, he who hath not the Son hath not life, but the wrath of God abides upon him. That's New Testament. In the Old Testament, it said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make mine enemies thy footstool. This is speaking of Jesus one day who would come and rule and reign for a thousand years. That reign is coming. He mentions it again in Luke 20, verse 43, uh, where Jesus directly quotes what David predicted and he said, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. In this chapter in Exodus, it's magnifying Jesus as being the one at the right hand of God, the one with preeminence. Uh, again, in Acts 2, it says, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. That he's going to one day do that. Um, we need to know he's a God of wrath in the Old Testament. He's a God of mercy. He's willing to give mercy to any who will call on him uh, for forgiveness. And he's the same in the New Testament. That hasn't changed. It's just Jesus has come and the cross is there. We can come directly to the cross and we can have our sins forgiven. We don't have to uh, put our trust in uh him and look forward to the Messiah and do a lot of religious ritual. We just need to trust in him. Uh, verse 10, continuing with the song, Thou didst blow with the wind, the sea covered them. They sank as the lead of the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretchest out thy right hand, and the earth swallowed them. It's showing that Jesus was the one who covered them up. He is God. Let's not forget that. One day, everyone will stand before God, and Jesus will either be their Savior and their ad advocate, or he will be their judge. I want everyone who listens to these videos to know they can have forgiveness because the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin, but they know that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He changes not.